When setting up your topics properly for the easiest data entry, let's look at brake lining thickness here for both the front and the rear. I'm going to go ahead and tap on where it says no issues. And you can see here that this is the information for the front brake pads. And as I tap each one of these, it's an on off toggle. As I go ahead and set the thicknesses of the brakes, you can see that it's also toggled the status off, which right now is a red minus sign. I can tap off to the side. I come over here and I can tell it what I want to do about it. So in this case, I want to replace the front brake pads and I want to go ahead and replace the left and right front rotors. So I'm going to tap off again. And then where this red exclamation point is, it's going to ask me some questions here. If we're actually replacing or servicing the brakes on this particular vehicle, it's going to ask me for some data. If I'm not replacing the pads, I can leave these blank. And I'll show you why here in a minute. But right now, we're just going to put some data in here. Then we're going to hit the work order and let's just go ahead and hit submit to get this thing saved so I can show you what happens. So I've submitted this. I'm just going to click on here and open it up. And I want to move down here. And you see here in this area, all the data that we entered on a tablet is here. So this is the items I tapped on as far as observations. There's a little break here. Here's my rotor diameter and so on. And then there's disease. And then there's the note information that I sent in there. And what's important about this is I've gathered a bunch of information that I don't necessarily want to go ahead and show to the customer. So let's look and see how that looks at on a customer report. And you can see here only the information I want to be shown is on this screen. So I've got no brake rotor thickness and lug studs counts and stuff like that I've just got all the nice information I need and how we did that is when we set up the brake topics on here we come up into this area here and we put our note enter this data if it's being serviced the questions we need to get information from the technician and then a space and the two underscores went through all the questions we put our Z's on the bottom and they just said OK. So that's how we built the topic and it's actually built into it that it hides information so that we don't have to worry about data going to the customer that may not make sense to them.